Hey woman, how's it going? Going pretty good. How's it going with you? Um, I'm excited. Today's the big day. Today is the big day. Who would have thought it would actually come? Day. <laughs> there you go. So says the Bose thing. It's a big day. <laughs> it's the deadline day. Yes. Not scary at all. Nope. Um, so we have to uh, go through a bunch of stuff. Um, the it's pretty miscellaneous. Um, and then a lot of different things I need your opinion on. And um, so yeah, just keep me focused. I've, I've kind of been working nonstop for like a week. Yeah. I didn't even like take a shower. The gross. Just working too much. That was my excuse, but it's actually because, um, you know, uh, Uli's shower, you know, it's in this apartment that the former DDR uh, is, it's like, really old it's like a, almost 100 years or older and there's wow. no um it's not like a shower it's a bathtub like when he takes when he whatever it's called a shower bath in the morning he just takes the thing and just like like uh, and washes himself uh -huh. and i said i i'm not i can't do that i'm american i need it to be connected and then you know waste water and there's no shower curtain. So I just, um, he made it so it's like connects onto the thing, but I'm supposed to be very careful so the water doesn't spritz into the bathroom. Ah, sounds like a very relaxing experience. <laughs> it isn't. So that's why I kind of avoid it. Um, I see. Besides when I have a, a manuscript deadline after two years of, uh, you know. Working and writing. So um, here, um, how are you? I'm doing good. I have nothing new to report. <laughs> same old, same old, but that's good, honestly. That's good. What about Christmas? Uh, Christmas will be good. Uh, we're bringing my boy, we're, we've been quarantining for two weeks and we're taking our COVID test and bringing my boyfriend's parents over to come stay with us, which is exciting because They've never been here and they haven't seen our apartment, even though we moved in here in July. So it'll be good. Be good to see them. That's cool. That's cool. Um, I'm taking a COVID test too. And so, and Uli's taking his first. He, he hasn't had as many as I have. Um, <laughs> That's because he's not an American. He's not used to taking your COVID test because you want to go places all the time. Right. He, he hasn't gone back and forth between LA and Berlin three times in the last year. So yeah. are you guys going um, somewhere for Christmas? Yeah. His dad lives in this farmhouse in lower Saxony and Ooh. his half sister and all these other relatives are going to come and um, they're probably going to be speaking German all the time. So I'll just tune, I'll just, I mean, it's not like I'll tune them out. I tune out anyway. It's like, they'll, they're going to tune me out really. Yeah, it's supposed to be a full immersive experience. You're supposed to put all of your German practice to work. Um, so yeah, it's more that um, hanging out with people and not knowing what's going on. Um, the dynamics are supposed to be a little weird, but um, I did hear that one of the mills that his dad's going to serve is deer. Wow. So farmhouse. It is. It's so gamey. Um, Anyhow, so, so yeah, so uh, I'm excited too. Stop yeah. it. Stop it, phone. Okay, so let me share a screen. And where should we start? Oh, Am boy. I sharing it yet? Yeah. Uh, so the last thing we're going to do is make copies of all this crap to hear minus insights mm -hmm. 
and put it in a folder, oh, and minus this, and sent Angela a, a link. That's us being done. Crazy. Um, yeah, okay. And so, so yeah, so I'd like to do that uh, within two hours and six minutes. <laughs> no pressure. And um, I can't remember what where to start. So maybe chapter, oh yeah, the chapter eight, there's little things in chapter eight and nine to, to review. There's images that I updated to make sure that you think, or to just help me determine which one to go with. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I gotta make this phone stop. I, you know, it's just, it's so lame. It's always yeah. listening. It's always, it's scary. It is. All of your technology is always listening to you now. It's gross. Um, ugh. Okay, so, um, and I don't think we're gonna have time or even desire to come through that insights file here to see all these great ideas we've set aside with nowhere to put them. Yeah. <laughs> well, luckily there's already lots of good ideas in this book, so. I think it'll be okay. Yeah. And then we have time when we do, oh, here's the schedule. That, this is exciting. Uh-oh, somebody's home. Let's see. Let's see, so we've got... Um, Hi. Hi. There's their copy edit it starts on 1218. I don't know what this means. She said the bat the bold ones apply to me. Mm -hmm. So what I'm guessing is that it's between January 8th and 12th that, we, yeah. that we'll review it mm -hmm. for one final time. And that seems like a fair amount of days, but I should yeah. probably calendar on your calendar if um if someone hasn't hired you away from me or something horrible <laughs> well good for you horrible for me all right so that's it and then uh what other thing i don't think there's anything else all right so why don't we start with i guess let's start just killing this the figure log. Okay. Hey, Lee, look, there's Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Hello. We're recording the Jamie and Jessica show. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> so I'm recorded now. Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. So, yeah. so nice. Do you have anything <laughs> to say to our internet audience of the 20 people that might watch this? <laughs> I don't think so. I was like, you actually saying in German, so they know you're German. Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, say something intelligent. Uh, yeah. Uh, All right. I was good. I'll you, you. You come through. Yeah, I'm coming through. Okay, fine. <laughs> I pack the things in the fridge. Okay, good. Uh, All right then. So, all right, so. Um, so the figures. The figures, uh, these ones we don't need to worry about. These ones we don't need to worry about. We have crappy ones of them in there, I think, 6, 8, 6, 11. I believe so. Uh, yeah, there's 8 and 11. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're gonna, we have to remember, I, I've run out of paper. Oh my God. What is this? Ew, I hate big paper. Um, uh, to uh, review figures for duplicates. Mm -hmm. 
um, and missing ones. There should be some for sure because they're tables. Right. All right. And then, um, so we just saw this, right? They, they were yep. there. Okay. okay. And then um, this one, I'm pretending I, I'm just delivering this tomorrow, the timeline. Okay. I'll send that to you to uh, review okay. before I turn it in. Let me see if that's possible. Yeah, if you look at it first thing in the morning, yeah, that'll still be New York time. Yeah, okay, so we're good with that. Okay, so then the two things I wanted to ask you about was in chapter eight, let's see. Oh yes, the Craigslist advertisement. Did we fake any of it? Um, I read it and was like, this sounds very clean. Um, so I imagine we did change some of it. Oh no, I wasn't worried about if we faked, faked it or rewrote it. Are we just looking for that picture? Is that? No, it's okay. Here is his ad. Mm -hmm. It's this thing, and it's a very, it's not exactly what we prescribe in here. Right. And so part of me likes that because I don't want people to think, oh, you have to do it my way. Yeah, this exact template. But yeah, I, I think that's why we say the template should be modified based on the requirements of your study as evidenced by the advertisement that Nico used. So that's why we were okay with it being a little different. It, it hits all like the most important points. Right? Yeah, I, I looked at it when I was rereading this chapter. I think it hits everything that we say to include. I think he included. Okay, great. Okay, so then we turn that one greeny green. I, this is like my favorite part of the day. Okay, and then. Check them um, all right, so you ready for the two versions uh, of of the desktop configuration faking, yes. uh, faking out his zoom configuration which is complete ridiculousness so is the top one his original one yeah see it doesn't have that tiny tiny thing there ah i see a tiny picture of me is that me <laughs> <laughs> it is yeah. you i do i do kind of like the one actually I normally don't like my face in anything, but I feel like you can't really tell it's me. But um, I do like having like a a person that he's interviewing, and it looks real. Okay, because I was worried. I put the name Deborah so that it would match with one of the participants that we listed in um, in his interviews, right? His interviews, but it doesn't. The thing that's maybe messed out about about it is that. If he was about, to, if he was interviewing you, then why is this person's stuff there? It should have your name. Yeah. Problem one. Problem two is if he's interviewing you, why are we even seeing anybody else's content except for yours as he's typing it? Maybe he's scrolling back to the left to like look at the questions. I don't know. Well, but this has a, you can freeze it. Oh, so. right. Yeah, so it'll float over all of the things. Um, and then the third problem is uh, like if you look at our Zoom configuration right now, mm -hmm. well, I'm on two monitors. Are you on two monitors? I am. Yeah. Uh, Okay, I don't so, know why I looked over like, let me check. Yes, I still have two of them. <laughs> okay, so, um, so, all right. If I, I uh, if we're on one monitor, like, the, with, does this look totally fake? Like, I, I get, like, this part of the screen is basically, I guess what's going on is he hasn't yet shared the prototype. He's talking to you mm -hmm. and interviewing you because if it was him sharing the prototype, it would look like the desktop, 
right? Yeah, it would be like me screen sharing with him the prototype. Yeah, he wouldn't be all big. Right. So if we want it to be believable, it's like what where he's at right now in the interview would be um, uh, focus is um, he would just be talking to you and maybe about here and then this would be empty and this could say Deborah. Mm -hmm. Although why are we showing and by the way, she's Ian Curtis's wife because these are all like fake names from Joy Division. <laughs> nice. So I don't know. I, I, uh, I don't know if it's better just to go with, whoopsie, she, you're Deborah. Yes. If, if, I, if it's worth me going in there and having to change all this content I mean, would it be ever so slightly more accurate? Yes. Is that like top of the to-do list if we're running out of time and we need to turn in the book? No, not at all. I think that you could turn it in just like this and people would, because the, the point is just, here's all the stuff he has on his screen, not like, here's what he was doing while he was taking this picture, you know? Okay. So then I'm going to turn in the one without you and then tomorrow if there's time since i'm sneaking in a few other images i'll sneak in a correct version of that okay okay i so, think that makes sense um i'll just remove this one yeah yeah so we'll leave it up to if they're like, if I'm like, oh, and by the way, these images were messed up. Mm -hmm. I, I am sure no other author has ever done that. I'm sure not. Okay, so, okay, all right, now that brings us. To, okay, so we have two that are coming just in time for the QC, so that's really perfect. Yeah. I'm sure I can update that image. I'm sure there's going to be other updates. Okay, so now let's talk about this thing that O'Reilly might also not let me do. You're hired, Jamie. <laughs> yeah. I saw that you combined it with my references document. Yeah. I like the subtle like here's references and also my information <laughs> <laughs> my marketing um i liked that you uh broke them out by chapter oh thanks yeah they're broken out there everything's in order of appearance oh so I I see. they want to make it alphabetical um i also don't know if you wanted to remove like some things are referenced in like chapter two but then they also appear in like chapter four the only thing I removed, this is like every single footnote in the book, except um, in chapter two, we referenced, uh, I wanna say it was Drucker, like the exact same Drucker book twice. So I took it out because I was like, I just put the first time it appeared because oh, I didn't right. think we needed it twice for a single chapter. Okay, but otherwise okay. this is every footnote we have. And I also okay. highlighted in the reference like the spreadsheet of all of the references, I made it like blue the first time something appears and then green if it appears again across the chapters so that if you wanted me to take out duplicates, I can take them out. But I don't know that there's anything wrong with having a book referenced in chapter two and then also listing it for chapter 10 because people might just be like, I'm interested in learning more about landing pages and they just want to see all the footnotes from the chapter on landing pages, you know. Oh, so you did include them twice. Is that what you're saying? I did include them twice. Yeah. The only thing I removed was the one time a book was duplicated in the same chapter because that's oh, okay. Now I get it. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right. Okay. And then you just added Roman's book. Okay. And then the period goes after these. This isn't like the captions, right? Correct. Okay. And then is this indent thing weird or, or not? Uh, it's a hanging indent. So that's what you typically do when you have like a reference section. 
So like that indicates that like starting with the Kucheriavi or whatever, whatever that article is, like that's all one item. Yeah. No, I really like it because before it was, I was. Yeah. Otherwise it's just like a big wall of text and you can't actually figure out where each item starts. That's awesome. Okay. So let's move on to this thing that I wrote (laughs) that I copied from swipe to unlock those guys. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so the first question is, okay, let, let me read it to you. Want Jamie to speak at your company conference or university? If you enjoy UX strategy and would like Jamie Levy to speak at an event or run a UX or run a strategy workshop at your organization, because I'm leaving it open to any kind of strategy, right? <laughs> um, please visit website or email this email address with this picture of me sitting on a bench in South Pass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you look friendly. I'd invite you. And then it says, Jamie Levy has spoken at hundreds of conferences and enterprises worldwide. You can learn about her past speaking engagements and watch keynote videos here. Does that that sound okay? Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, I think so. And then you can learn about the types of available workshops and master classes here. Mm -hmm. Do you think it needs a Jamie? No. And then it ends with Jamie has trained thousands of product makers around the globe. Bring Jamie and her forward thinking practical techniques to your organization through engaging lectures and hands on training for executives, product teams, and cross functional groups with a picture of a workshop. I'm I like sort you of leaned in at that workshop. Yeah, I'm leaning in. It's like yep. I'm like Cheryl Sandberg or whatever. Um, yeah. I'm wondering if I should just go with this top picture. I don't know. I kind of like seeing you at a workshop if I'm supposed to be hiring you for my event or workshop. I mean, this is a big ass workshop. It's like, it's not even my biggest one, but it's definitely bigger than Jared's. Because doesn't he have a limit? Uh, Yeah, I think he caps him at like 24. Right, we counted. Yeah, exactly 24. So this is clearly more than 24 people. So I think it's okay, good. So I guess if you think there's, I, I don't need to change it. It doesn't need to say Jamie. You can learn about her workshops. No, you can say you can learn about the types of the types of available workshop. I would just say like you can learn about her types of workshops and master classes here. Or how about just learn about her workshops and master classes here? Yeah. It's okay to have learn, learn twice, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, and Jamie's trained, and then all this more. Is it weird to have an engaging lecture at a organization? I didn't know if I should make it presentation. Yeah, maybe presentations. Lectures just has, anybody that went off to college has a, a bad connotation for that. Okay. Okay. So, and then, so then that, that's this page that O'Reilly and I will duke it out over. They'll say, no, that's not, if you, if we do that for you, then we have to do it for other authors. And then I'll say, well, do it for other authors then. <laughs> or Is don't. it really the worst thing in the world for the person who spent years writing this book to get a page saying, here's my name. You can hire me. Yeah, instead of them having uh, to Google Jammy Levy and never find me, you know, yep. like, I don't know. Uh, I'm tempted to get rid of this email address that I don't yet have set up, but I don't want to, I feel like I should have it. Um, um, and not have my personal email. Do you agree with that one? Yes, I think it's better to have 
that email than your personal email, but you can also just say, visit jamielevy.com forward slash hire Jamie. And then you can list your email on that website. That way, if you have a different email or you change it at some point, because you don't want somebody like sending you an email to this email 10 years from now, if you're no longer using it, you know? Wait, so can I just move, delete the email period? Yeah, I think so. Cause it's easier if people just go to a website, a web, website, <laughs> if they go to a website, then you can always say like, email me here or, you know, fill out this form or whatever it is, so. Hey, I heard it. Yeah, also, he's excited. The slight, the slight to unlock guys were like, okay, email us and include your name and your email address and your this and your that. And I'm like, so I was listening to all that crap and I'm like, why don't I just have them come and fill out this stupid form, which also includes how much money they're offering if they're not. So that then, and how many attendees, you know, when they're asking me to do free stuff. Um, so I prefer that they go through my funnel. Yeah, I think there's no problem with directing them to your website. It's better. And plus, yeah, 10 years from now, you can still have that page up, even if it just redirects them to your new page or whatever it is. So I think that's good. Wait, you think I'm going to get rid of my name? No, <laughs> I'm just saying not your not your website. I'm saying the page. If you change forward slash hire Jamie to something else, you can still redirect hire Jamie to hire me now, you know, <laughs> whatever you want to recall, rename it later. All right, I'll get rid of this colon. Okay, yeah. so that's resolved. That's exciting stuff. So I wrote in here, which to confuse them even more, and maybe this is a bad idea, no caption, and maybe I should just say nothing. Uh, yeah, I would put nothing. And do you think 11.1 is gonna confuse them and just say, Everybody. I would just take it out. What? I, like, I wouldn't, do you have to have a, a figure number for them? Well, they have to be, they're in the folder, 11.1 reference section, 11.2 reference section. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would just leave the caption blank and leave the figure number in then. Okay. Yay. So that's that. I guess you could also name them like, reference dash one and reference dash two if you wanted to since they're not actually so they're not looking for a chapter 11. yeah you're right you're and then right. we can name the images the same thing okay reference one two it's like come on guys let me have a little marketing in my book Yeah. Still recording? Yeah, we're going to re be recording for the next hour. I see. It's our last, it's our turn in the book show. Uh huh. Okay. Turn in the book show. <clears throat> Is that all right, Ben? Yeah, that's fine. Right. Um, I, I had Korean food for lunch, so I won't be hungry for a couple hours. Okay, fine. Is it warm enough for you? Is it warm enough? Um, it's freezing. That's why I'm wearing this this jacket. It's winter here. I know. It's like 40 degrees or uh, 35. Yeah, we are not in California here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're right. It ain't it ain't California here. Okay. So, all right. I I think I'm gonna leave this open. Let's let's hop into the the chapters ready? yeah starting with eight so ready oh boy um okay <laughs> great it has to be hard the first thing yeah no worries so, just figure out what are all the lessons you've learned during this pandemic well guess what we quickly did some lessons yay i found them in uh in in the archive nice 
So I tune them and this is what I have. Uh, I thought uh, remote online user research would not get as useful or meaningful feedback as in person, but I was wrong. Being extremely clear with potential participants about the video conferencing tools is essential to having successful interviews. So exciting. You know, like you got to tell them like, you can't do it from your phone, guys. Sorry. Um, to get validated learnings, you don't need to invest in an expensive or time consuming endeavor. Well, I think that A, the second one is super boring. And B, I think that we should swap it because the because they haven't even read about using the proper video conferencing tool. So uh, by the time they've seen the timeline, like the lessons learned, I feel like should reflect more on your experience navigating this weird month, you know, like something more about like, um, like being flexible and like adapting to things as they can. I think the first one is still good where you're saying like, I didn't think online stuff would work as well, but it actually did. Cause that's okay. a clear lesson learned in this timeline, but I would yeah, say no, that. Maybe, yeah. Um, okay. So let's just get that one useful or meaningful. Uh, meaningful probably. Or would not get the same quality of feedback as in person. It sounds weird. I can't decide why. I had thought, why is it remote and online? I don't know. I thought online user research would not get as meaningful. Well, like the difference between the two really is intimacy. Right. In the, in, particularly when you're meeting a stranger. It's one thing talking to someone after you've met them, but just meeting a stranger and being like, okay, would you use this prototype to blah, blah, blah. Um, so for me, the honest truth is that I just thought doing it online and, and not to say it, it when, I don't know if it's quality, it's just like, um, that you'd be, you'd get maybe the, that, that people would lie more or be less engaged because it was online. Like if you compare take teaching in person to teaching online, the students right. are less engaged. The students can easily tune out. Uh, right. So if you say that with the participants, so maybe I had worried or I had I think saying worried sounds better than like, I thought online user research wouldn't get, because obviously people were doing online research before the pandemic. So at least this way, you're just saying like, you know, I was a little concerned that this would be the case, but it wasn't as opposed to like, this was stupid until I did it, you know? I okay. think worried sounds good. I had worried that the, that online, that conducting that, Is it the results that we're talking about that the that the online that the that online user research would not get the same? I think going back to what you said, quality quality of feedback as in person research. I don't want to say I was totally wrong, but I was mistaken. But I was I was. I was pleasant. Well, now you're saying I worried this, but I was pleasantly surprised or something. <laughs> Could I say, as it turned out, the students, um, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, like the students were. Or the, uh, the, the studies, um,
Well, there's two things going on. I don't want to say they learned a lot from the experience because it's really, I mean, yeah, I was teaching, but the second thing is the students learned a lot. As it turned out, should I just say, as it turned out, uh, it made a lot of things a lot, e it, ma it made things a lot easier or something like that. Yeah, I'd worried online research would not get the same quality feedback as in-person research. As it turned out, uh, yeah, something like it made it easier to get the same kind of quality feedback. Um, as it turned out, the students were able to get good feedback and it was actually easier to get. I don't know, something like that would be good. Here we were just talking about the, um, how about I had concerns? Sure. Okay. Not like that solves anything. That, the, that, online user research would not get the same quality of feedback as in-person. I feel like it's, How about that? Uh, it can be, I had concerns, so not get the same quality as it turned out. I want this to have like the word, I think this is good. I want this to have like, but I found out that it can be just as good as the something. Maybe I just need but in front of this. They're saying like, I had concerns that online user research would not get the same quality of feedback as in-person research, but as it turned out, it can be just as good if the study is properly executed. The I don't feedback? know. Yeah, the feedback. Okay, right now we have, let's see, let's see what happens in our timeline, uh, the state of it. These are the most recent ones, right? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so it starts off with the Palmetto Research Study uh pivoting from uh, yeah i'd really like to see one that's like you reflecting on like how flexible you and everybody else had to be at the start of the pandemic not only with your user research but with life <laughs> It seems like this one goes after. Yeah. I feel like it's, is it something more about the pandemic and being a professor and teaching versus the actual, like here, I'll do something that even during uh, some kind of terrible word in front of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. I that even during uh, 
a deadly pandemic or scary pandemic? I go with deadly over scary. I mean, aren't pandemics all deadly? I don't know. I don't know. Keep on with the sentence. Let me see where you're going. That even during a deadly pandemic. Well, let's see. It's something about <laughs> them. I mean, the, the thing that was poignant for me was that what kept us not from freaking out from the pandemic and the lockdown and you, you were there, so you could tell me if I'm wrong, was that the, the continuity that the class kept running and that we just kept going with the flow. Yeah. And it took, it made it, we had to like redo everything, we, you know, like uh, something around, you know, pivoting, And maybe it's this pivot, pivot or persevere kind of an idea. Our lives and what do you, what do you call the call the class? Yeah. And uh. I mean, we can say like that even during a deadly pandemic, um, like we can find, or we can find ways to pivot and keep going effectively. <laughs> That's what we did. Like this whole timeline is talking about you pivoting to it's online classes and online research and Would you say it's me and the class, right? Mm -hmm. Or maybe I should make it about the class. I don't know if it should be about user research study or just the. Yeah, this feels more like a fact, like the class was able to quickly adapt to doing their research study online. Like I want it to be like, even during, cause normally your lessons learned are a little bit more like big picture stepping back, right? So you can say like, even during a deadly pandemic, there are opportunities to, to pivot and keep moving forward. Because you didn't just say, well, okay, I guess the class is over and we're not going to do this user research study anymore. Like, I think it's, I don't like it being about the class. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, then it just feels like another fact that's, you know, should be in the timeline. Like, the class adapts and does their study online. Like, I don't know. Okay, that even during a, pe a deadly pandemic, we can find new ways of working. Yeah, something like that. Remember ways of working? No. Yeah, it was from the digital transformation. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that even we can find new ways of working to get things done. I think that's the big lesson for everybody. Yeah, I feel like there's also an element of like, if we stay flexible, I don't know. Do you like that or do you hate that? Mm -mm. Uh, I, I, I don't like flexible or I, I prefer adaptable. For Even like, about not being like, I don't know, I guess if you don't want to get into that whole thing that like people just 
we just kind of kept working because we were locked in. Yeah, I mean, that is true. And that uh, it involved LA in terms of, I mean, people in LA were being interviewed while they were locked down. Like the whole thing was very strange. Right. So I don't know, you know, if, if um, but then people, they wanted to make a case like, oh, well, they were at home and they needed money, you know? Yeah. I think we, we should stick big picture. Like, I don't, I don't think we need to just like state more facts of what was happening. Okay. That even during a, a deadly, I think we can find new ways of working to get things done if we stay flexible. Sounds great. If we stay, if we are, or if we keep an open mind, or if we, Even during a deadly pandemic, we can find new ways of working to get things done. If we, I don't know, if we stay flexible, if we are flexible, keep flexible. What if it was just like that? I mean, that's fine. If you don't want to stay flexible, I don't, that's, it's your lesson learned. I don't know. Uh, by making the most out of such a great opportunity. <laughs> yeah, um, no. Oh, I know what it is. That there's an upside or something to it. There's like a bright side that the even- silver during, lining? Yeah, there's like, like uh, I don't know, or maybe the second one gets to that we find new ways of working. Um, that we wouldn't have been open to before, that even during, instead of a pandemic, but even during, you know, a major catastrophe. Yeah, that's a little bit more generalized. Would you call the pandemic a major catastrophe? I would. Is it a major world catastrophe? I don't even know how to spell this word. Figure it out, even during, during a major, really, it's with an E, we can find new ways of working. How you spell catastrophe? Mm -hmm. Really? With the yes. E? Yep. Oh my God. Okay. So uh, that even during a major catastrophe, we can find new ways of working to get things done. Or should I just leave it at Jessica? Yes. Okay, let's go on to the third one. Okay, because okay. I already told you what my solution to that first one was. Oh, we well, did not like it. Okay. Adding the flexible part. Otherwise, what are people supposed to take away? Like, ah, yes, I too will do new things that I may not have otherwise done. but I also understand if you don't like it. My feelings are not hurt. I just don't have any other solutions at this moment. <laughs> that even during a major catastrophe, we can find new ways of working to get things done if we are flexible. All right? Sounds great. I'm being flexible. I appreciate your flexibility. I had concerns that online user research would not get the same quality of feedback as in-person research, but it turns out the feedback hit can be just as good if the study is properly executed. 
And then can we just leave this one? To get validated learnings, you don't need to invest in an expensive or time consuming endeavor. I mean, it feels kind of weak after you just talked about, after your whole timeline is going over, like the whole world was falling apart and you're like, you too can get validated learnings <laughs> if you don't invest a lot of time or money. Okay, fine. Okay, we need, I need you to talk about less. Donald Trump or the newspaper headline. Um, if you sometimes it's good to turn up the radio. Um, people were dropping like flies. It was hor horrible. Can the lesson learned be just wear a mask and wash your hands? <laughs> yeah. Wear, really wear a mask, funny. wash your hands, don't be an idiot. Yep, that's my lesson learned from the pandemic. Do you think someone might take offense to the idiot part if they got no. it? Who's Who's taking offense to that? People that aren't wearing masks or washing their hands? It's just a list well, of like, things. Don't do any client, of these things. With a client of mine who doesn't believe in masks, maybe we just say take your vitamins. Don't be an idiot. I stand firm. All right, let's leave it. <laughs> All right. Whoa. Okay. Um, what is this new articles to verify? <laughs> Did you add more articles to look through? No. Jamie, just, the book is due today. <laughs> in an hour and 15 minutes. Look, but yeah, real quick, let's look at another article to make sure we didn't miss anything. That's how on top of it this book already is. See, like even up like, to the last second. Did we do did we get everything she said? Zoom, Skype, phone, questionnaires, selection of tools. Yeah, talks about serving monkey. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're not adding anything. Triangulate your research findings with different research methods. Okay. I think we're good. I think we covered the same stuff. Look, so we put it, I'm gonna put it in um in insights. <laughs> Why are you putting it in insights? What if after I, you're like, we're not gonna use any of this? <laughs> what if there's so you know what, if it makes you feel better? Feel yeah. free to put it in insight. Yeah, you know what? This this chapter is tight. We it's right? good. We we did our due diligence. We spent a lot of time putting this together. Oh right, and good. tested it out the second semester. Yeah. Okay, so uh, then it looks done. Oh, I wanted to show you something. Look at that. Oh, there you go. That makes more sense. Like, I, just so you know, the thought process here, I was like, key insights, how about a pair of keys? Because it's like you open the door of a car with a key and it's a key insight. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then I was like, oh no, because you're supposed to use your phone to open the car for his app. Yeah, and I don't have keys. All over the web for pictures of people opening cars. And then I realized inside of Nico's presentation was a little picture that I just needed to edit. There you go. I love it. It looks I, great. I also made his business model include this, the double-sided, the, the two-sided market. Okay. Um, present your findings. Okay. Oh, there's, a, hey, look. Poorly executed. That was the original big quote, wasn't it? Wasn't this the first thing we made big? Yeah, it was the most important quote. All right. All right, so I'm gonna, oh, wait, look, hey. Oh yeah, because you said you finally get to meet them face to face. And I was like, isn't that weird when you're like screen to screen? How about virtually face to face? You finally, because you finally get to meet your potential customer virtually face to face. 
Is virtually face to face a thing? Let's find out. Virtually face to face. I get 35,000 results, but it's about like distance learning. I think it's a thing. Okay. I mean, I, I just know. I just needed something that didn't say face to face because you're obviously not really meeting them face to face. But well, you're you meeting are. them virtually face to face. Yeah. It's on the internet. It's like virtual reality, but you know. Yeah. But, but, but whatever. Okay. Okay. That sounds good. <laughs> All right. So, um, did we want to take a picture of this table to include it as an image so that it matches the toolkit instead of having O'Reilly redraw it? Uh, can you tell me where it is really fast? Uh, it was, <laughs> I moved it up to the top and I called it spreadsheet for you to take pictures for chapter eight and nine. But I think maybe you put it back somewhere. Is it, no, do you go back into resources? Oh yeah, it's, I hit it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's back in resources. Let me okay. let me move it back out. I'll just move it all the way up to the top level, and then we'll put it back. <laughs> and nine simultaneously. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I have a question. What's what that? This is, what would you call that thing? That sign, an electric sign? Uh, like a, I don't know, uh, a, whatever it is, like a bus or a tram or whatever it's for. Um, right. I don't know. Well, the good thing is it's a caption, so we, we can marinate on it. Okay. Um, okay, so you moved it. Yeah, it's probably really stupid to not do this because it'll get messed up. Okay, so are these the, the twos of them? Yeah. And you're sure they're correct? Uh, I can double check while you have it open. Let's see, a platform to rent electric vehicles on an hourly basis, interviewing five people that recruited with a Craigslist ad and shown the prototype of feedback. This has to say key feature one. Oh yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then this should say. I mean, we could pull this out if we want this column to be bigger. Well, we made it this size so that it would fit across the book page. Okay, so then we shouldn't do that. All right. And then let's make oh, validation questions. Uh, a platform to rent electric vehicles on an hourly basis. Use a research study with prototype. Oh, I see the bold start end date March 22. Okay. I guess we don't have to say testing. It says like testing value prop one, testing. We can just say value prop one, just like we do for key feature. <coughs> yeah.
Okay, well, I'm doing eight. You should do nine. And then I'll scrape, grab that. Let's see, tell me when I can. Oh my God, there's another thing that we could fix as long as we're here. Look at That's how fine. we ask about the price. Oh, what do you think the right price would be instead of what would you expect to pay? Yeah. It, we just have to be careful that it's in sync with everything else. Let me see. We show setup. Do you think that the price per hour is higher or low for renting a car? Yeah, I think we asked like a couple different versions of the question. I mean, do you think we can get away with that as a fair question? I mean, it really should probably say, would you expect to pay more or less than this per hour? But I think it doesn't really matter. I, I mean, I think it's still like a valid question. Not that it doesn't matter, but I think it's still valid. We're not saying, how would you price this? Yeah, we're not asking them what do you think it should cost. Okay, and we're just assuming that everyone says, no, that sounds great. Yep. Okay, so can I go ahead and grab that while you work on nine? Mm -hmm. Okay, here I go. Nine is updated in the spreadsheet. That was fast. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think if there's something that you can do while I'm doing this stupidity. Wait, do you want to take another? I moved the, is it weird that the hypotheses below validation questions below is like all up at the top of the box instead of centered? I edited it in the spreadsheet. I don't know yeah. if you want to grab another screen grab. Okay. I'm going to do this fast, fast, fast. Okay. If you could go and find the image number so I could say, and if I saved it out previous, oh, I didn't. Yeah. Find the image number in the figure log and then I mean, it's, it's 0805. Okay, and then if I should save it as a ping for the other spreadsheet, if you look at the ones for the competitive research. Okay, let me look. I think they're all pings. Yeah, pings. Oh God, this is so annoying. I hate doing this, okay. Okay. If you, um, okay. Uh, 
Okay, so ping, right? And what did you say the image number was? 0805. Okay, this is bothering me. 0805, okay. See how lame I am? Okay. Ah, no. I'll just go with this. Oh my God, what happened? Nope, got a white line. Oh my God. Okay. Nope. <laughs> All right, this is third time's a charm. Looks perfect. Okay. Then what's the other one? It's ready to go, right? Mm -hmm. Scary. Okay. It, and what number? Oh, this is a nine. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Crop, crop, crop. Okay, I already forgot. What number is this image? <laughs> this is 0908. Ugh. This line's too thick to me. Don't you think? Yeah. It's a little bit much. Stop it. Stop repeating the same song. Okay. Uh. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. <laughs> oh nine oh five, right? Oh nine oh eight. Oh yeah, okay. Same thing. That was great.
okay? Okay. 0908. It's gorgeous. Okay. Uh, can you update the spreadsheet to not say redraw? Yes. <clears throat> there it is. Uh, I might have you also go in and delete the table. Oh, right. the original table? Yeah, I can do that. If you just paste in the new ones, I'll delete the old ones. Okay. All right, that was fun. Okay. Whoopsie, wrong one. Okay. Looks good. Fantastic. And no risk. Okay. Is there anything left in eight? Um. I don't see anything. Oh wait. Uh, you put a comment <clears throat> on participant not having previously downloaded the video software and you said, should we add here or calling in from their phone instead of a computer? Right. Um, that was a mistake. Even though the students emailed them and said you cannot call in from the phone, even though the ad says you have to have a computer with a webcam, I feel it's like kind of going overboard. But but it seems like something that happens frequently enough. I just added it as another bullet point. Is it okay that we're, we're just saying you have to address these things? That means that they need to fix them, right? Yeah, Obviously. or consider what to do if these things happen. Okay, all right. Is there any more comments? Um, See here, we said yet some still join the call from their phones where they couldn't share screens. After a few yeah, participants so did this, he reached out with a reminder to participants beforehand that they needed to call in from their computer. So maybe we don't need it in that list if we say it right underneath. Or do you think we should still put it there? It's definitely overkilling now, I guess, huh? Yeah, I don't think we need it in the list then. All right, kill it. Um. Okay. Oh boy. I don't see any other comments. What's up with the otherwise four dots? Let me get, ugh. Just delete the last dot. I can't, it just <clears throat> delete, oh, never mind. Okay. Wait, is this right? Otherwise dot, dot, dot? You validated all your hypotheses? Um, I think this was just like, if you didn't fall into any of those other categories, then congrats, you validated all your hypotheses. But it's a little weird to say like, only you can answer this one. If you can't answer it, you validated all your hypotheses. Hmm. 
I think it definitely needs to be a separate so paragraph. Then go, or do you want to invent, uh, go into chapter, you invalid, then go into chapter nine. You invalidate your, go back to chapter three. You validated it, a, you can tell, again, you validated your, but not all your key features. Oh my God, I love how I can't, you see how the scroll bar is behind this? Yeah, it's not very helpful. Good job, Safari. Good job, Apple. Um, how do I go down? There we go. How about like that? Oh. If you didn't fall into the categories above. Is it being uh, confusing saying uh, or, or or to get your butt in, out in, in a new, this second one or widen the participant study of your neck, the participant size, it, it, it's like we're telling them to move forward, but then we're saying, or just do this chapter again. Yeah, I think this was our, our issue of wanting to emphasize, like, you need to get more people. Um, if we're going to say that, it needs to go in front of move on to chapter nine. Yeah. So it should be like increase the number of participants on your experiment again. Stronger evidence to support your hypotheses, or something like that. I'm going to cut this. Should this say in a new type of experiment? Yeah, a new type of experiment. Yeah, because running the experiment again is effectively still a new experiment. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I feel like it should, should say either increase the number of participants and run your experiment again to collect even stronger evidence or move on to chapter nine to get your business concept out in front of more customers. It's a little confusing. Which part? I feel like this could be simplified. Uh, that they're both about getting in in front of more potential customers, so it's weird that it says it. But hold on, let me just do this really fast. So either run your experiment again with a larger sample size even you know or move on to chapter okay that solves one problem or move on to chapter nine to get your business concept It's confusing. This is like they're both getting in front of more potential customers. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It should be more like or move on to chapter nine to test your business concept in a new type of experiment. Yeah, I think that's fine.
In or with? With. Okay, recap. Online user research. Can we get that, that our low budget fashion provide immediate for stakeholders who need to make important product strategy decisions? Can, that, can feel intimidating, but the more you do it, the less intimidating it becomes. By running a research study as a start, you have the framework to keep your folk you focused on collecting insights for hypotheses. Is it hypotheses? Or hypothesis validation. That's it's correct. Okay, your entire team will get be better off learning directly from the target customer if your solution is desirable and viable. Put this to bed. I think so. Bye bye. Okay. Oh, great. I love that. Oh, that's fun. That, oh, that's always fun. Okay, so let's see beside the straight up. That's weird. I see it correctly. Maybe just refresh your page. I love that Buck Minister Fuller quote. I added a, an A here, is that correct? For every puppy I sell, I get a 2% commission. You have, or we had mm -hmm. it, I get 2% commission. Yeah, I think both are right, but I think I get a 2% commission sounds better. Okay. Um, I updated that to funnel business when I read through, by the way. You still wanted oh, that, right? Sure. I thought it was funny. It's better than fun with funnels anyways. Yeah. If anyone even knows what, I mean, no one from Europe is gonna get it, right? That's okay. They'll just <laughs> see it as like business with funnels. <laughs> okay. Um, we never heard back from uh, India again. Hmm. Well, I, I gave her the opportunity. Um, I noticed also that the number of callouts weren't accurate. Like for instance, this says nine six when it's nine five. Mm. I guess I didn't update this chapter. You wanna look through while I just- Yeah. See if there's anything. Oh God. What? We're missing the part that includes the figure number and says this is an example we made. Yeah, I couldn't find remember how we wrote that part saying like yeah. this is how you know we filled it out as if we were VW. Some stuff got deleted because I had to re, I spent a bunch of time this morning re putting stuff at the bottom of this. That's weird. Okay, I'm sure I just screwed it up. Um, so I have to go to the archive to look for this thing? Potentially. I mean, that's If all... you can't find it, I'll look in the version history for that document, but okay, if we can so... find it in the archive, that's great. It also, did, was it in the 4VW to get a final go or did we not include it in there? That was so old, that one. I thought we, I think we updated that one though. Uh -uh. I, that one is only a partial. Okay, so what are, give me some keywords to look for. Uh, I don't know. It would just be on either side of, it would be somewhere near that experiment design tool. Do you know what I'm talking about? That we said like. I just wanted you to say like the first three parts. That's the, right? Okay. No, well, no, that's not necessarily together with it. Well, here's the version two. As you can see are identical, but the rest are specific to running landing page experiments. Yeah, I'm not talking about that sentence. I'm talking, do, do you remember what I'm talking about? That we said like, VW did not fill this out. Like they didn't make this experiment design tool, we did. Wow. Do you remember that or no, am I crazy? 
No. <clears throat> you don't remember writing that? No, I totally remember that. Um, I, I, I also, I thought we positioned it that we made it sound like if they had filled it out. Yeah. So I don't know what happened to that. <clears throat> So you're, uh, let me go look at their version. Uh. It's not there. Um, do you want to dig for it while I upload, start uploading the images? Yeah, <clears throat> I'm still checking the figure numbers in nine, but when I'm done, then I will find that paragraph. Okay, let me get the... I'll look in V1 just real fast. Oh God, this is so old. God, this is so horrible. Okay, um, it says here, I'm gonna fill it out using the Volkswagen landing page as a reference. Yeah. That line? I think so. Let me see if that's still in here somewhere. Yeah, just that sentence. And you're satisfied? Yeah. Why did we kill it? I don't know. It's sort of important. It's very important. <laughs> so it's clear that I'm going to fill it out myself using the Volkswagen landing page experiment. Wait, you, pa you pasted it into an old draft. Uh. <laughs> Okay. B3. Oh, right. Okay. So I'm gonna just start uploading the images and we'll come back to the comments, okay? Mm -hmm. Good catch, Jessica. You're very, uh, you're very attention to detail. You have a good attention to detail. Thanks. Um, all right, so the secret to doing this, to not ruin everything is to take- Just recently modified stuff. Yeah, recently and put them in their own folder for a second. Should I go back to 1213 or 1212? Um. Can you see, uh, let me see the last time I uploaded crap. That will answer the question. December 13th. I'm tempted to. Yeah, so you should be able to just do December 13th inclusive. I'm going to go 
Do you think I should include December 13th is to be safe? Yeah. Okay. All right. So then I'm going to go. All right. This should be O. Yeah, 0805. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. You're so ready. Okay. So ready. So ready. So I'm going to take this all the way up to here. Put them in. Wow. Why is this? Just don't be like that. Okay, here. Please just be okay. Okay, so there is all, all those. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to go new. File upload recently. Okay, all right, so. Update existing. All right, so let's go through nine. Okay. All right. <clears throat> this thing that you have here on be professional. Oh yeah, it's weird because this is like a list of all the must have items on your landing page and be professional is not a must have item you should have on your landing page. Agreed, so should I just remove the bullet? I think so, yeah. Except that, yeah, yeah, I think that's good. I think it's okay to have that paragraph of do's and don'ts basically. And then How about, paragraph after says other nice to haves. But, but then get rid of be professional as well. Perhaps. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's start at the top of this thing. I think I'm going too fast. It's pretty speedy. Uh, I see a comment on page 17. It's the first one I see. Oh God, I wrote my students and nobody wrote me back. Mm. They're so nice. You can run a social media campaign on WeChat. I believe that you can. That's what people, if you Google WeChat social media campaigns, you can also check the link. Um, even Neil Schaffer talks about it. Oopsie. Use WeChat for business, a guide for marketers. I'm gonna run to the bathroom real fast. Okay. It's a social media platform. Did you know that you can do everything from post videos to file for divorce from within the WeChat app? <laughs> That's so awesome. Maybe when I crazy file for divorce, I'll use that. Okay. So yeah, you can order cars. It's, you know, it's, it's incredible. Those guys, I'm sure the UX is awesome too. So it says banner ads can be placed at the bottom of articles. Moments ads are similar to in-feed ads placed on Facebook and Instagram. 
Oh, wait. See, you look, 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 we got it. Thank God. Dear Professor, good evening. I'm Su Yun. A student, I didn't even know he, he or she was in both classes. I changed the language on my phone to English, but didn't find the entrance of look around. I guess if the look around you mentioned is moments, which usually used to share personal life elements or interact with friends. For Weibo, I didn't run advertisements by myself, but I found one advertisement post by other company. For WeChat, I didn't run advertisements in moments. Yeah, so moments are basically like their posts, it seems. No, so look around is like, oh, that was Martin. What a sweetheart. Uh, is this like, they have two things. There's one thing called shake and it like connects you to a random person. Interesting. Kind of like chat roulette without naked people. Right. And then look around is like connects you with people who are near you. Hmm. Interesting. So I guess if you were trying to do Let's see, but now Amber's writing. Okay, here we go. Now we got, we don't, we usually don't use mini program to look around. The look around feature is to look for random people who are physically nearby. Usually posting in groups, those WeChat groups can have a lot of people and share moments is the most effective way. Moments is a feed that reaches all your connections. We sometimes ask friends to repost on their moments too in order to reach people. Online ads can run on Weibo. However, it's not as easy because you need to consult their specialists before running ads. China also has strict policies about their about using real names and showing real. I would say it's more for established companies, but if there's a way to verify, it's okay. So I think we should leave out Weibo for running online ads. And okay. also WeChat. Okay, so WeChat, we need to God, you're so nice. So okay. definitely not Weibo. I can take that out. Because we don't have, we're not a established business. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let me, where's the stupid insights folder? Oh, God. Back okay. up at the top. Uh, all right, so, oh, look, it's already 712. Tick tock, tick tock, Clarice. Okay, let me just put this um, WeChat stuff. Oh, God, I didn't even look at this stuff. Yeah, it says WeChat offers three main placements of advertising WeChat moments ads, WeChat article banner, WeChat mini program ads. Yeah, this looks pretty similar. Okay, so I think it's still fair to list it as a social a place where social media campaigns can be run. Okay, then that's great. So let me um, I'm just saving this here. Okay, so I can resolve this comment. Yeah but I think I didn't show you where I, okay, so that's gone. Back to chapter eight, which was the other thing I was asking them about. Um, and uh, Look around thing. Yeah, we can put the, the thing, the spreadsheet for eight and nine into resources. Again. Yeah, I'll put it back. Okay. I just thought, you know, it would be nice to list some of these things that were in China. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know how to write this out because I barely have used WeChat. I used it when I was in China and a little bit here. So let's take what what your student said. Yeah, and let's so is she 
Is this the one? This must be it. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to copy this. I'll copy them both in there and then we can just reword it. We should just keep it really simple, like get rid of mm -hmm. look around if she says it's insane. Yeah. Just almost do what she says. She actually did run a campaign, I think. Remember how I said one of them sort of did? Or yeah. did. Um, all right, let me see the other email. That's funny how look around isn't something those guys use. Okay, all right, so where are we in eight or nine? Eight? Uh, eight, yes. I'm just editing down what she said. He said moments which you usually used to share personal life elements or interact with friends. Yeah, so that's what she was already talking about. So is moments capitalized? Probably. Uh, I don't know. Let me let me look. Yeah, it says it's just like Facebook timeline or Twitter newsfeed. Um, okay. So, and she, are they using the word post? That's what she used, yeah. Okay, good. Because I couldn't tell if it was post or share. Um, also, I noticed that they have business groups, just like LinkedIn. And I actually called it out, but they didn't. Yeah, uh, she, she said chat groups. I don't want to change what she said, but I guess we can just say post in groups. Cause she said, she didn't actually say post in chat. She said post in groups and then said chat has lots of people in it or something. So we can just say post in groups and share on moments. We don't need to tell them to post in business groups or personal. I don't groups. think so. I think like you said, we should keep it simple and general cause we don't understand it. Okay. So this goes away. Um, okay, yay. Cool. Yay, China. Who does that, huh? I think that sounds good. I think it's okay, awesome. so back to nine. Okay. All right, so nine. So we left. The next comment I see is down on page 27. It's two comments. And then we're done. I think, the, I think so. Oh, you, we, oh, God. You just, you want me to read it to you? Why don't you read it? I think you need to start a yeah. persevere pivot or hit the brakes. You want to read it out loud? Oh, sure. Think out loud. Well, it's, uh like i'll if you actually want me to understand what it says it'd be better if you read it out loud and i can just look at it because when i'm reading out loud i don't process anything i'm saying got it interesting persevere pivot or hit the brakes this concludes all the product strategy techniques i will be sharing for validating new business or product ideas at this point one of two things should have happened you learn through various experiments that it's worth investing more time and money into your innovative digital solution. 
in which case it may be time to start looking for funding or stakeholder buy-in and create a roadmap for bringing your product to market. If you are new to product management, I recommend the book Strategized by Roman Pitchler for learning about product roadmap practices. You yes. learn that you may need to pivot or hit the brakes on your value proposition because you could not find a customer segment who wants it or a business model that supports it. At this point, take a step back and think about how important this concept is to you. Perhaps you should be like my dad and shut down the hot dog stand before it's too late. Regardless of what bucket you fall into, uh, you've learned, uh, hopefully you've learned some useful techniques for de-risking your strategy before you build a product and as the, strat as the product matures. Strategy is never over until it's over. As long as your product exists, you must continue to measure value using key performance indicators that demonstrate how effectively a product is achieving your business objectives. Then I put a sentence about OKRs, we wanna include that. I read a lot about them and it gets very confusing. Um, one's a framework, one's a this, one's a that. Uh, the Greek philosopher Her Heraclitus made the assertion that life is flux, panorama in Greek, meaning everything or all things changes. I believe this to be also true about competitive landscapes, technological innovations and fickle customers. I definitely don't need OKRs because it's weird to give me a bunch of definitions at the end of the book. Uh, okay. Like I like, I like the KPIs. I understand why you're trying to get the OKRs, but it just feels like all of a sudden you're telling me all this new stuff and then you're like, okay, bye, good luck. <laughs> you know? So like, I would cut this and just like bring this up here. Bless you. And I think, I think this sounds good. I think the only other thing that stood out to me um, in this first bullet point that we say into, uh, you learn that through various experiments, it's worth investing more time and money into your innovative digital solution. I don't like that we're bringing back digital solution in case, you know, I mean, presumably they have one, but yeah. I think just keeping it generic, but I think that I like it. This is like a better like conclusion to the book instead of it just being like, and this is what VW did. Hopefully you learned something. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Thank you very much, Shiny Snails. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I think it sounds great. What about the sentence here? Did it bother you validating new business or product ideas? I was trying to basically hedge between people starting new business concepts versus a feature. Uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't, I thought it was just like, when you read it, I was thinking more like business being like business model related things and more like the business canvas stuff you talked about. And the product is more like actual like key features and stuff like that. I didn't mean it that way, um, but I was trying to use it. I just don't want to say product, you know, I'm also ending on product strategy techniques mm -hmm. um, and making it very producty and not mentioning UX really. Right. Um, so I guess my concern is this, uh, I will be sharing for validating new business. But should I make it new business concepts or product features? Yeah. If you want them to be like, separate things. I would say business concepts or and then however you want to describe product. I like product ideas. It keeps it more generic, more okay. than just features. Yeah. Okay. Oh, great. You learn that unit through trial and error. Uh, Okay, now that we have the bullets for the Carmen Gia story, let's just pull them down here. I also wonder if we should just remove the line about my dad and the hot dog stand. I don't think so. I like it. Okay. If people don't remember it, then they're just going to keep reading, so.
Oh, here it is, sorry. Sorry, you suck. Okay. I don't think that this, oh, who knows? Okay, so let's move the recap down to here. I discussed how successful UX strategy relies on your marketing and design teams working together in harmony. Did we? Yeah, with the growth mm -hmm. hacking. You learned how to use landing pages and online We, did, we don't go into like, you learned about hacking growth and design stuff over here. You learned how to use landing pages and to experiment with business concepts and identify potential channels for customer acquisition. Most importantly, you learned that you and your team can make great advances through trial and error. Make greater advances. I don't know why it's greater, greater than what? Is it just most of my advances were? Yeah, I brought down the Buckminster Fuller quote. Well, I guess we can look at the lessons learned. I don't think we're going to talk about like lining up your ducks in a row and realizing they're not your ducks. No, um, I don't think we're going to talk about your name, my no. name, naming yourself Michelle. So, so I think it's this last one. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I like bringing back the word advances since we have advances in the opening quote. Right, so I don't know if we need more about experiments or doing things. I think maybe it's moving forward. Or unfamiliar territory. Like yes. these yeah. are basically the things that people will remember from this part, you know, uh, push yourself. It seems to me I'll let you ruminate on that while I start making copies of the earlier chapters. Is that okay? Yeah, go ahead. You're going to make copies of them and then we're going to put them in a folder and rename them to the chapter names. Yep.
Oh, I got it. You got it? Yeah. How about this? Um, in this chapter, I discuss how successfully your strategy relies on your marketing and design teams working together in harmony. That in order to figure out what works, you need to tinker with different possibilities for hooking users and hacking growth. That in order I mean, the hooking users is for the hook, you know, the, 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 right. the, the hacking growth is to remind them of that, right. of the growth design stuff, the, that in order to figure out what works, I added the word tinker, the different possibilities, maybe not tinker. I just need to pull up something you need to. I don't know how to, can you think of a way to get this in here? Which do you have a specific thing you're trying to get in there yeah. or just something from there? Something from down here. Um, I don't think people are going to remember. All right. Instead of figure out that in order to make progress. How about in order to move forward? Yeah, to move forward. Um, you need to tinker with different possibilities for hooking users and hacking growth. Don't like tinker. I don't know what I want it to be. I want it to be something stronger sounding. Play around with, fiddle with. No, um, you need to. I'd love to get push in here somehow. Or. Or try something new. How about you need to try new things for hooking users? Yeah, that sounds good. I mean, do you want to be like really on the nose and say like, you know, even if it means changing your product name? No, I don't think they're going to get remember. Okay. Try new things or try new. Get that in order to move forward, you need to try new things for hooking users and hacking growth. I wish we had something other than things.
Oh boy. Just experiment or uh, try new. Oh God. Um, come on, it's the last line of chapter nine. I know, that's what makes it more stressful. <laughs> <laughs> um, user's problem to come in you know, to form a habit drives us by finding the levers to unlock loops of customers and business value um collaborate on experiments uh sustainable by finding the levers to unlock loops of customer business value behavioral analytics to track whether, you know. I mean, I think we've done enough to tie back to the rest of the chapter. Or are you just looking for something other than things? Yeah, I was like, I just, I like Tinker because I want them to like, you know, to be, to, to like this idea of, you know, like I'm gonna change this, I'm gonna change that and see what works. Mm -hmm. Just like the, the, with the landing page variables, you know, like, oh, maybe this or maybe that. I mean, the chapter is called designing for conversion, so and what right. about the funnels? Yeah, we definitely need to mention the funnels. I mean, you can say tinker there if you want to. Oh, I can't. I don't. <laughs> I don't, I think tinker is better than play around. I was just looking for something that's like tinker sounds like you're like tinkering with to tinker toys or something. Tinker with funnels for hooking users and hacking growth. I'm good with that. You know, if we think of something, we can hit it in the Q1. Yeah. I think it's good. We're so excited. <laughs> okay. Well, at least there's also a chapter 10. Chapter 10 ends much more firmly. It does. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's great. I need to get myself, you know, and I'm 18 in here. Okay. So is this this? I think it's done. Oh, my God. Okay. So um, let me look at my list. Oh, there's there's still one comment in chapter 10. Please open it up. So our work to do, well, rotate all the pictures done, remove captions from city map or walkthrough. I can't remember if I did that. I don't think it matters that they're off because it's just a reference. Yeah, uh, I don't think it matters. That's tomorrow. Yes, Adobe integrates, but there's no point of saying it anywhere. The fuller thing is sorted. The lessons learned, see new book, uh, sneak in higher, did that. I didn't say moving your team in the right direction. Decide about this. I think I decided. Where do you look for moving your team in the right direction after chapter two? I checked all the chapters. You did? Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. Okay. All right. So I think it's just chapter 10 and the figures. I thought we were done with 10. It's got a comment about Matt. Oh God. Yep. It's so easy. Okay. 
I, I, I was like, now they're former, you know, if he wanted to mention, I thought it, I thought he maybe got promoted to an executive, but he's been an executive there for a while. So he was just, it, it'd be lame to say Matt's been, you know, been recognized as one of the top execs in insurance. Like, yeah. Right? Like, that's not. I mean, the only thing that's weird is that we don't mention him in the book when we talk about Metro Mile. Are you sure? Yes. Like he's not in chapter one. In chapter one, you're talking about your car accident going through the claims funnel and then. He's in the book. Where? Somewhere. Maybe. I'm positive. I, I, I thought. I thought I was positive. I just think. I, I, I quote him in chapter two, the director of product says, blah, 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 I thought. Oh, maybe, I don't know. Let me see if I can find his name in chapter two. May not be there, I might be wrong. Like it's obviously it's just weird to be like, here's what Matt's doing now when they didn't meet Matt, you know? They didn't meet him. They didn't really meet him. He was just a, I think I just quoted him. Let's see. Yeah, as explained by Matt Stein, the VP of product at Metro Mile, one of the main costs for drivers is what is called the lost adjustment expense. And it represents the amount of money the insurer has to spend on processing and settling claim from the claim adjusters to the tools they use. So we quoted him, but I don't know that people are going to remember him when they get to the recap. I suppose like Sebastian had like a picture of him and you're talking about having lunch together and stuff. Right. Okay. So then we don't need to mention him. In the 10. VP product and Metro. Okay. And we give him good credit. Okay. So then he just doesn't need to, we just talked about Metro Mile. Yeah. Sorry, Matt. I know you're not listening to this. Okay. So bye-bye. Okay. Let's start who, whom you met in chapter one. Did they meet the company? Yeah, that's how you start out chapter one with your burrito going through the window and you filing the claim with Metro Mile. No, I, I mean, but do you say you meet a company? Oh, I think that's fine. I like it because you're talking about this chapter or the beginning of this chapter is all about the people that you met throughout the book. Okay, then. I guess we're done. Oh, does this look lame here? I made this didn't have like a pull out. So I was like, why waste it? Or would you prefer it go back here? I'd prefer it go back there. But I'm I don't feel strongly about that. So no. I, I, okay. I'd rather it in subtly. Yeah, that's a word. Okay, so no pull out. Just a beautiful chapter one didn't have a pull out either. Although I might have added it. Okay. Done. We're done. I can make I can make a copy of it. Yeah. Let me see what you're naming these guys. Wow. The art folder needs to go in there too. Yeah. I just didn't move it because I didn't want you to be like, where did you put all of the artwork? I wonder, she never asked for the forward. I wonder if we should not include it. I don't know. This is just a copy of it. So you can just delete it from here if you don't want to send it to them. Maybe we should. I can't believe that you remember if I changed a word. I, I, I think. What did it say that we have to deliver? I mean, I think what they want are the chapters. Not this, but I and mean. And the art. And the references. <laughs> but yeah, we can take the forward out. I don't want do them to reset it if they don't need to, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll just delete it from here. So if we make any updates, we're going to be making them to the chapters in that folder, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You mean the art updates or any updates? Well, I'm just saying, like, there's no reason we need to keep all these versions of chapters out here. We can archive these ones, right? So that we don't accidentally yeah. edit something there. Yeah. OK. But put them right. in a uh, final folder archive. OK. Or just so that it's easy to go to the most recent versions. We're not like freaking out, like, which one is this? Yeah. Okay, just give me a minute. I'll just move some things around. So this is gonna get really a lot of things in it for a second, but then I'll clean it up. Okay. Um Let's see, I'm looking for uh, Angela's. I don't see the schedule. Um, it's UX strategy, second edition to-do list. Angela, check it out. I think it's like the third thing up from the bottom of your screen right now. Okay. If that's what you're talking about. Manuscript, artwork, figure log. That's it. Nothing about the preface. Unless yeah, preface and references aren't due till tomorrow. Unless the forward is part of a manuscript. I don't think it is. Well, it's not like you don't have it. If she's like, hey, where's the forward? You can be like, here you go. <laughs> Should we just I don't think it matters. No, I don't know. OK. Okay, so here's the O'Reilly folder. Full word. Okay, what about the artwork? Are you moving that? I'm <laughs> moving everything around. Just give me a minute. Okay, so I'm going to start writing her the email, okay? Okay. Yeah. Let's see. What do I do? Uh, I go. I'm moving the insights document to the archive. Is that acceptable? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, well as long as I can find it easily. Yeah, it still exists. You can here, search for it. Here is the final manuscript of UX Strategy Second Edition. Um, this folder includes the chapters. References. Yeah, it has chapters, figures, figure log. Should I tell her that I'm going to send your three images or just send them and not tell her? I probably shouldn't. I mean, what are the three images? The, the timeline. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't. She'll just get them. You know, it's like, oh, no, I'm not going to use them. I want to use these crappy ones. Yeah. Okay, 
I will send the, uh, the prep preface tomorrow. Can't even spell hooray right. Hooray. Here's the file. Is it ready? If I send it to her and we put crap in there, she's it, she'll get it, right? Mm -hmm. or, yeah, I mean she'll she'll get it. It's all done now. I put everything in there. there. Yep. So it includes the chapters. Yep. Should I say the yep. forward? Uh, the forward is also. Uh, how do you spell it? Forward. Yeah. Did you want me to put the forward in? Uh, uh, let me know if you. Yeah, you can say it hasn't changed. Okay, is that good enough? Yep. Send. Share anyway, and then should I probably send her an email with the link? Yeah, okay. that feels more official. Okay. Um, I can't wait for her to see the, <laughs> the marketing page. She's going to be like, you on crack? Okay. Um, <laughs> get link. Oh, I will upload, should I just say I'll upload the, upload and send. Yeah, because you can just, once you finish it, you can literally just drag it into that folder and yeah. then just shoot her an email letting her know it's there and you can, yeah. And, and then mentioning then like, oh, and also three images that I noticed that I named wrong or something. Yeah. Okay, you ready? So ready. <laughs> It's so technology these days makes it so much less dramatic. Where's our physical manuscript that we go drop off at the publisher's office, you know? I know. It's just like it's very anticlimactical technology, but the only thing is uh the images. Do you want to check real quick for any duplicates so we can oh, delete right. the wrong ones? There's always something. <laughs> um Reference one, two, okay. Let's see. Okay. Uh, one, two, 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 three, two, four, two, five. There's duplicates of 0304 is the first one I see. Okay, let me see it. There's a JPEG and a ping. So I don't know which one is right. Probably oh. the one that was uploaded at 7.06 p.m. One was uploaded by you and one was uploaded by me. Let me look at them. Uh, oh, that's probably the old one then. Value conscious brides to be. That's, and then now we have uh, value conscious spouses to be. So I will gonna, delete this one. I got it. I got it. Uh, oh. Unless it doesn't let me. Wait, d did you do it? I'm about no, to. No, I didn't. It. It's at the bottom. You can delete it. Okay, what else? Three, seven, three, eight. Does three, eight only go up to 
Does three only go up to eight? Yes. Okay. So there should be, so I'll tell you chapter four goes from four one to four thirty one. Okay. And then five. I'm checking. So there's four one and thirty one. I'll just check all the beginnings and ends and then I'll go through and make sure that there's it's all sequential. Okay, and then five one. There should be a couple missing because of redraws. Five one to five eighteen. Mm -hmm. And then where does six end? Six one to six seventeen. I have a six eighteen. Uh, what is it? It might need to be deleted. Uh, the Bumble lifetime pricing, I think. Yeah. Six seventeen also Bumble. Six seventeen. Uh-oh. 617 is the storyboard. Uh-oh. <sighs> I think we just got off at the very end. So the feature, what number is the feature comparison supposed to be? Do the figure log open? Yeah. So it's 616 or 15? The storyboard is 616. Okay. Well, what's the last, uh, Metro mile screen 613. Yeah. I think that's where we maybe got off. Usually. Okay. Maybe let's just go through. Uh, let me just go through them one by one. And why don't you tell me what each thing is supposed to be for just for chapter six. So there's okay. 10 at two and four. The Cyber rag and electronic magazine is two. Got that. Billy Idol is three. Got it. Snippet of a feature list is four. Aha, I have uh, the old picture of Lane as four. So let me delete that one. Oh, but I also have another four. Okay, so. And that's the four. Nice, is it a nice clean? Let me look at the. Yeah, four. it's the snippet of the feature list. And it looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. It even has the gray bar going all the way across. So I know it's the new one. Oh, yeah. Okay. And what's the problem? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Two fifteens, great. There's the this shitty one. That's garbage, I think. Let me see this one. Okay, so I'm gonna delete the JPEG. Woman's work is never done. Nope. We have two 16s. Okay, so the 16 is. Should we just look through all these figures? Like, the, no, the 16 is the storyboard spouses to be. And then the other storyboard, so the other 616. That's what I'm trying to figure out where we're, because we're off by yeah, we, one. Okay, um, this one, hold on. Okay, this this 16, uh, being slow. 616 is supposed to be the storyboard and 615 is the feature list. Excuse me, the Sony thing, the, the ebook reader. Okay, so 616 with the JPEG and... This oh, I found it. Metro Mile is supposed to start at 66, right? Isn't that what the figure log says? Do you have it open? Yeah. If, met, if the Metro Mile screens are supposed to start at 6-6, six, six, uh -huh. uh, we have a key experiences. The key features is 6-5. Key experiences, the same thing with the wrong title is 6-6. Six, six, and then Metro Mile started at 6-7 when it was supposed to start at 6-6. Six, six. Well, then I need to upload them. They're not correct. That's all. Well, except, do you have the wrong numbering in the folder? No, I went over it a million times. Yeah, they just need to be uploaded. Okay. Six. Um, so just the chapter six stuff. Right, they got renamed, but they didn't get, uh, that's why they had the old dates. 
Yeah. Okay. So if you just re-upload chapter six, it should, and I, I deleted 618, so it should replace everything with the correct thing. Yeah, and just everything from chapter six and through six seventeen. There's no duplicates. Did you delete everything that's there? Uh, it should just replace everything. Well, but I'll I'll safer. delete them all. I'll delete them all just to be safe. It's safer if it lets me. Yeah. Okay. I must have been logged into a different account when it wouldn't let me delete it. Because now I'm able to delete things. It's telling me to update existing, but there aren't existing. No, you can just say update. It probably hasn't finished processing that I deleted them since we're uploading and deleting at the same time, right. but it's fine. Yeah, okay, so seven is one, two, three, four. Now I'm scared that I need- Yeah, to now I'm gonna go through. Okay, so it's one, 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 two, do you want to just open the figure log and I'll read out all the numbers I have and we make sure we at least have one for every number? Yeah, sure. Okay. I'm just worried I should have updated. There's no way the four, is the four tenants, are they in the right order? Uh, let me double check. Maybe. I have Business strategy, top left, value innovation, top right, validated user research, bottom left, frictionless UX, okay. bottom right. All right, so seven two is my mom, seven three is my mom, seven four is the build, measure, learn loop. Oh wait, what? I was just gonna, like starting from chapter one, I was just gonna tell you all the numbers I have in here. So we can make sure we have everything in here. Uh, wait, what? It won't take that long. I'm just gonna read you the numbers and then you tell me if I miss one. Okay. So I have one, one and one, two, and that's it for chapter one. Okay. And then two, one, two, 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 three, two, four, two, five, two, six, two, seven, two, eight, two, nine, two, 10, two, 11, two, 12, two, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And that's it for chapter two. Uh -huh. And I have three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that's it for three. All right, I want, should we delete two, four and two, five because they're, just delete them. Uh, two, four and two, five. Yeah. Yes, I will delete. Remove, gone, okay. Okay, and then, so for chapter, just to make it faster, chapter is three, one, two, three, eight. Okay, well, I still have to look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Four is four, one, two, 31. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Yep. Okay, then five is uh, one through 18. I'm missing two. I don't have a five, two. I have five, one, and then five, three. What's figure five, two? Five, two is a table. It shouldn't oh, be. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. So I have one, three, five. Four six. shouldn't be there. Yeah. Yeah, five. so there's no four. And six is a redraw. We should have a placeholder. Okay, I have a six. To redraw. And then there should be seven all the way. Yeah, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have two tens. What is ten supposed to be? The cover of the analysis brief vertical. Oh, I see. Uh, it's be yeah. So there's duplicates of all the turned ones because they were uploaded. The original ones were JPG, and the new ones are JPEG. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Should I delete all the horizontal ones? Please. Got it.
Louis, I'm done in a second here. <laughs> yeah, sort of. Okay, so what is six? Goes through 17. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Great. Okay. And uh, the art is seven, one through 11 on chapter seven. I have two pictures for seven. One is from April 19th, 2015. And one is from December 9th. I go take your time, take your time. Though. Okay. No problem. Okay. Um what what's the what's the figure number? Oh seven oh seven. Should I keep I have a, a ping from December 2020 and a JPEG from April 2015. They're, they should be identical. I have the same ping too. That's from 2015. Okay, so I can delete the JPEG. I think yes. so. Yeah. Okay. JPEG gone. Okay. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's only eleven in seven, right? Yeah. I'm feeling like we need. What if the? What if they're not? I need to update the twelves. The, the December twelfth. Like, is it, let me see the. I mean, these all say uploaded December 12th. Okay, let me see. All the set, these ones at the end of seven. Where's the storyboard? It's seven, eight. Okay, let me see. That's it, right? Perfect. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so. And then eight is eight one through. So I have one and then we jump to five because we don't have the timeline in yet. Five and then I skip six, which is right. Yes. And but this one's get... supposed to say six, not seven. And then we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 for chapter 8. And then 9, I have 1, 2, 3, 5. Uh, we're missing Lex's growth design framework. That's crazy. I'm really worried that there's other mistakes. Oh, wait. No, we have it in here. It's just the wrong figure number. Oh, it's, but they're, they're all screwed up. Where's, oh, okay. The one that's missing is yeah, I'm renaming them. They're like, all the numbering is off, but the images are correct. So 9-3 should be a redraw, let me see. Yeah, it's marked as a redraw. Okay. Okay. Uh, nine seven. We're not meant to have. That's. Uh, oh no! What happened to Sebastian? Nine seven's in there. I'm. I was just updating. Some of the numbering was off. I think it's correct now. It was just the first couple. Like the numbers were wrong for some reason. Um, we're also missing 913, which is the two Facebook ads. Okay. You sure you don't want me to just re-upload all, all these? No, because they're, I think some of them, at least in this folder, some of them were incorrectly named and I don't want to accidentally 
go over like the ones that I uploaded that were like resized and stuff. Oh. Okay, so which ones from nine do you need? Just Sebastian? No, no, I have I have them. I'm I'm looking for nine thirteen, which is the two Facebook ads. Oh, got it. Okay. Is there anything else besides that? No, I have an image for every figure number. And they look correct from the tiny thumbnails, but it might be worth glancing through them. But 913 is the only one I'm missing. I think I could do that in the morning. Yeah, if you if you open like the very first file, you can just click the carrot at the right and then you can scroll through all of them and see if anything is like, oh wait, I updated this and this isn't the right one. But these are all the per correct image numbers. Yep. So if you yep. wanna just start at one one and click through them all real fast and make sure it's all the correct versions that you want of everything, I think that would be good. But otherwise there is an image for every figure besides the timeline. Look at that beautiful one. No, I think it, <laughs> I think it's good. I think so. I think there was just some numbering stuff that got off as we were like changing the numbers in the text. We weren't necessarily changing the numbers in the the figure files, but look at this it one, uh, all matches yeah. now. The line hmm? is like you see how it's crashing into the line. Yeah. Um, I think I'll go through them tomorrow. Yeah. I don't think she's going to do anything today. Like, well, considering that she's expecting you to send like the preface and stuff tomorrow, I don't think if you re-upload a different version of something, like as long as she doesn't download the whole thing and say like, okay, I'll get to it later. I would just like finish all the stuff tomorrow, just drag and drop that preface into the folder and then send her an email letting her know the preface is now in there and I updated some of the, the figures that had a, an earlier version of a file or something. That way she just has to re-download everything again. Exactly. That's yeah. a great strategy. I've learned okay. some things about strategy, you know. You're an awesome strategist. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to go um, drink some alcohol now. That sounds like a great way to celebrate. You turned in your book. Woo! <laughs> yeah technology makes it feel much less exciting but you know you did it you did it it couldn't happen without you that's for sure it, or it, it would have happened it just wouldn't have been half as good so thank you so much jessica you rock of course happy to help you're budding rock star <laughs> thank you i try all right i guess i'll see you in january yeah right? you'll see me by email and, and stuff like that yeah. Awesome. Sorry. Bye. Bye.